Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, January 9th, Dependence upon God. For without me, ye can do nothing. John 15, verse 5. The first lesson to be taught is the lesson of dependence upon God. As a flower of the field has its root in the soil, as it must receive air, dew, showers, and sunshine, so must we receive from God that which ministers to the life of the soul. The presence of God is guaranteed to the Christian. This rock of faith is the living presence of God. The weakest may depend upon it. Those who think themselves the strongest may become the weakest unless they depend on Christ as their efficiency, their worthiness. This is the rock upon which we may build successfully. God is near in Christ's atoning sacrifice, in His intercession, His loving, tender ruling power over the church. Seated by the eternal throne, He watches them with intense interest. As long as the members of the church shall through faith draw sap and nourishment from Jesus Christ, and not from men's opinion and devisings and methods, if having a conviction of the newness of God in Christ, they put their entire trust in Him, they will have a vital connection with Christ, as the branch has connection with the parent stock. The church is established not on theories of men, on long drawn out plans and forms. It depends upon Christ, their righteousness. It is built on faith in Christ, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The strength of every soul is in God and not in man. Quietness and confidence is to be the strength of all who give their hearts to God. Christ has no casual interest in us but an interest stronger than a mother for her child. Our Savior has purchased us by human suffering and sorrow, by insult, reproach, abuse, mockery, rejection, and death. He is watching over you, trembling child of God. He will make you secure under His protection. Our weakness in human nature will not bar our access to the Heavenly Father, for He, Christ, died to make intercession for us. Our Father cares, January 9th.